Hey guys, we are here in beautiful Los Angeles, California, participating in the PMI Global Congress. We're going to hear from other great speakers and network with project manager practitioners from around the world. You're going to see some of the greatest publications and latest technology as it pertains to project and portfolio management. Let's take a look. We are here with none other than the founder of PMI, Jim Snyder. Jim, say hi. There you go. How are you doing? So, Jim, what would you say in terms of young entrepreneurs and young project management practitioners, what is the one piece of advice you would give them in 2018? Get involved. Be sure you're doing something. Uh, as long as you just sit around or just take your membership for paying the dues and going to meetings, you're not going to get anything out of project management or out of PMI. But it's when you get involved and you start making a difference with the people in your community, in your local chapter, and in your country that it becomes an important and interesting Excellent. activity. So volunteering, get involved in their local cha chapters. Uh, and what would you say in terms of the one thing in terms of how PMI has changed your life or project management? Well, I've been around it now for almost 50 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's not that PMI changed my life, it's that PMI has become my life. Yep. Mr. PMI. So I, well, I, you know, almost everything I did in my working years was project related. I worked on managing projects all over the world, <laughs> big exhibits, marketing projects, things of that nature. So. Without PMI and the people and the friends that I made, I certainly wouldn't have been able to improve my own job. Sure. Uh, Project management, it's a life skill, personal and business. We'll sure see you in the next is. one. Thank you, Jim. Hey guys, we are here with Kenneth Steinis of Sensei Project Solutions. Just delivered an excellent presentation upstairs and going to learn a little bit more about uh, how Project has come a long way since 1984. So Kenneth, uh, bring us up to speed on where we are in 2018. All right. So Microsoft launched the first version in 84, 84 like you said, really targeted at project managers, core scheduling and task management. Today, it's a complete end-to-end -end project and portfolio management solution, helping organizations with project intake and prioritization, resource capacity demand management, budgeting and cost tracking, project planning collaboration, project status and portfolio reporting, and PMO governance. And most people just don't know that it's that extensive, it's a complete end-to-end -end PPM. Excellent. And I know specifically for the project portfolio manager, some of the Microsoft Project Online and business analytics uh, tools and some of the BI capabilities really conform to what they do. So why don't you tell a little bit more about the PPM hook with the new products. Sure. So portfolio managers and executives just get really good visibility and insight into the portfolio of projects. With the new Power BI content pack, we have the ability to look across the entire portfolio. We can filter based on departments, project type, project owner, governance phase, just about anything here, and the ability to easily interact with the data. If I just want to see all the active projects, for example, or maybe I want to look at my agile projects, my enterprise projects, and so on. And then easy access to the underlying project through the links here as well. We highlight things like cost variance and work variance. We see active risks and issues and so on. 
And also, um, Josh, a lot of people don't realize that Microsoft Project has the ability to capture the approved budget and then track the, the planned spending, the actuals, the estimate to completion, and that's where the variants are, are calculated from. So here we're seeing the, the traditional sort of red, red, yellow, green traffic light indicators. And if I see a project that uh, look, looks like it might be in trouble, I can actually expand and see where the variance is coming from. I have labor, software, hardware, training, and travel, or whatever cost categories, cost types you might have. And clearly, we have a, a labor uh, overrun here. And then I also want to just uh, highlight, now the, the out of the box uh, content pack for Microsoft has 13 different reports. I'm just showing you three of them today. Okay. Um, the portfolio milestones, the ability to see what have we accomplished as an organization in the last 30 days across my entire portfolio and what's coming up in the next 30 days. So this is pulling out, hopefully you're building your schedules using PMI's best practices. Always, um, always. <laughs> so using the practice standards for work breakdown structure and the practice standards for scheduling, you get better results in your reporting. So these are the key milestones uh, that we're seeing across the portfolio. Okay, excellent. So talk a little bit more about how this tool would be advantageous for the resource managers, the RMs in client organizations. Sure. So Microsoft recently released a new capability of allowing a project manager and a resource manager to basically shake hands. And the project manager or somebody submitting a proposal would submit a resource budget. So they would say, I need an FTEs, I need two uh, business analysts up front, I need a 25% PM, I need system testers towards the end. So we're submitting a resource budget. Now, assuming that the project is otherwise approved based on its merits, then the resource manager would allocate Jill and Bob and Joe and Sue or whomever to fill that need, and the project manager would build out the detailed project schedule from that approved resource budget. So this gives us an approved allocation of resources, and we can now see any variances and exceptions. It's really, really exciting. Let me show you what that looks like. Sure. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to a different uh, view here. So if I have, um, say, Mike DeFelice here, Mike is allocated to four different projects, and for the next 12 months, he's really allocated to this gen world project here, right? So you can see, if I click on Mike, you'll see where his allocations, where he's supposed to be working. Now, I can also drill through and look at Mike, what he's actually working on, which might be different. <laughs> And, and I can see that Mike currently has 47 assignments on three projects. And by the way, November, December, and January, he's over-allocated by quite a bit. Now I can interact with this data and see, is project A over-allocating him, is project B over-allocating him, or is it a combination of projects? And in this case, it is actually a combination of projects. So then if I want to explore it a little bit further, I drill through and look at Mike's assignments. So now, as a, I've just gone from a project level to the resource, now I'm going to the actual tasks and assignments. So I can see exactly what Mike is working on, on the different projects, what's causing the over allocation. Now I can take the right In a few clicks, as a resource manager, I have all of that information available to me. And does the resource manager need to have the traditional FET client installed on the computer anymore? No, absolutely not. So. You do have the ability to go into the resource center and, and look at this too, but I really like the Power BI reporting option because it gives them the data they need. With this data, as the resource manager, I can go to the PM and say, hey, your project ran late, I need you to use Bob instead of Mike on this and let them do the swapping out of resources. You can do it as a resource manager if you'd like, but we don't recommend it. Excellent. And now finally for the project manager, if you are a project management practitioner, and this is pretty much your bread and butter, let us see what we offer within some of these dashboard views. Okay, sure. Um, so project managers spend way too much time building status reports, right? Building out PowerPoint presentations, pulling data from here and there. And again, now we're back to the, the, the Microsoft uh, Power BI content pack. So this is the standard free offering from Microsoft. We download this from GitHub and deploy it in your organization within a few minutes. What it does is it goes into your project schedule and it pulls out all of your completed milestones, including any variants that you might have had here. It also pulls out any uh, upcoming milestones of what do I have left. It gives me my KPIs, the cost, work, and schedule variants. It shows me project manager status date. These are some of the things that we typically see people reporting on, but it's completely automated. It's real time. It's always showing the latest version. I love the highlights here. 
out of the box, green means up to 10% variance, yellow is 10 to 20, above 20% is red, but of course you can change. And you can tweak that. Absolutely. And then it tells me, you know, um, I have 11 active issues and, and 10 active risks. Well, gosh, I'd like to go maybe explore that a little bit more. So there is a the risk register from the project site rolls up to the report and the issues log does the same thing. So now I can look at issues count by owner, by status, I can look at the high priority items and filter all of this, and I can also link back out to the project site to, to take a look at that. So just automated reporting, easy insight, and if I have multiple projects, there's another report that allows me to look at all my projects as well. Excellent. So if you are a project manager and you have one of your weekly executive project management status reports, no more fumbling around. This is real-time data you can drill through ad hoc up to the minute. Excellent. Excellent presentation. If you want to find out more from Kenneth and his company, click the link below. We'll see you in the next one. What do you think? Hockey game a little later. Make it happen. at the convention center right across from the Staples Center. Should be a good one. Yes. Make sure that you are like bulleting it out. This is not resume. Do not custom and paste your resume. This is where you tell the story. I'm going to go out there. So paint work is what I'll do. I'll just give my people an uh, agenda. Painting is your job. This is a milestone. And I'm Susan. Yeah, as soon as I go in, you can see, finish the coding and the prime code. Hey guys, here in LA, meeting some new PMI colleagues. Name Hello. and town. Hello, my name is uh, Julio Hitzelgruten. I'm from Norway and Bergen. Okay. Hi, I'm Helga. I'm also from Norway. PMI Norway, excellent. Hi, I'm Richard Roberts from Warner Brothers right here in Los Angeles. Wow, excellent. We'll be, vi we'll be visiting on Thursday. <laughs> Hello, my name is Yahiro from Tokyo, Japan okay. chapter. PMI, coming yes, to you soon. Uh, we are here at the PMI bookstore, and very cool. You never know what you're going to find. Over here is the PMI, Project Manager Competency Development Framework. This is the third edition. And again, fortunate to have written chapter seven in this book. Uh, the subcommittees over here is where we talk about how to implement competencies in your organization. Very cool. Go pick one up. Leaving the hotel here, going to a networking cocktail event with PMI, convention center a couple blocks away, and then we got the gala event and the award ceremony. That is, for those that don't know, that is PMI's almost Academy Awards, Project of the Year. We'll be there soon. We are at Wolfgang Pucks 24. What are we getting to eat? Um, dumplings. Dumplings. Dim sum. Dim sum. And Can never go wrong. And a couple martinis.
So we just wrapped up the PMI, the Project Management Institute Conference in Los Angeles, uh, here right near our hotel in Beverly Hills, taking in some of the sites. Uh, learned a lot, was able to network with a lot of friends and colleagues for a number of years. Uh, got to do uh, spend some time with uh, the founder of PMI, Jim Snyder, a uh, friend and colleague who I've known for a number of years. Invited him down to PMI New York City to speak a couple of times. So great job there. Uh, next we will be in Washington DC at the PMO Symposium in next month and next Congress will be in Philadelphia next year. We'll see you there. That was breakfast. Excellent. Herringbone in the back. Very cool. LA sights. Gotta love those trees. Won't get tired of that. Missing someone. Missing someone.